Come on, ICW fans. What else can I possibly play with a show title? But ICW fans, I am the administrator of the ICW Message Board and longtime independent wrestling fan, Robert. Concrete Jungle was a great way for ICW to cap off 2018. Without further ado, let's start out with the results. The uh, show begins with um, Jungle Boy go one on one with the Grim Reefer. Uh, during this match, uh, at one point, Reefer powerbomb Jungle Boy on a guardrail that was bridging the ring apron to the guardrail to keep the fans away from the action. Uh, at one point, Reefer uh, tried to do the, his uh, senton bong, but I don't know if he, he lost his balance or what went wrong there. Eventually, Reefer put the uh, chronic crossface on Jungle Boy and made him tap out. Next up, we see ICW original Matt Stryker coming to the ring with this little kid. His name was Eric, or Aaron, and I do apologize for not getting the name right. As he went one-on-one -on -one with freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy. And during this match, uh, Stryker and Cassidy invented impact musical chairs and of all songs played was Baby Shark. First, actually, uh, actually, even referee Chris Levin, a.k.a. Baby Ref, partook in it. He was like the first one eliminated from that. And I think Cassidy actually got the last chair in the ring. Eventually, Cassidy did pick up the win and defeated Stryker. After the match, Stryker attacked Cassidy from behind, took Cassidy's uh, cat, beer can of, of Coors Light, stomped it on the mat, which brought out ECW's hardcore icon, the Sandman. And we had ourselves quite a... Uh, obviously, there was an impact karaoke to Metallica's Enter the Sandman. He comes to the ring, and I forgot what... I don't know, I forgot what Stryker had said to him. And eventually the Sandman took out like a, I don't know if he was a, using a, a vape cigarette of some sort, or e-cigarette. I started smoking that a little, a bit. Nail Stryker, then uh, let's just say he hit one deep to right field right between Stryker's eyes. And then Sandman asked that kid who came to the ring with Stryker to come in the ring. And, oh, oh. Uh, Stryker, and the kid comes in the ring, hooks Stryker's leg, and... Baby ref Chris Levin made a three count, and that was a pretty much a good moment. That kid will never forget. Next up, we see uh, Jimmy Lloyd. He ended up defeating the good guy, Azriel. Next, we had a one on one match between Schlack and Bulldozer Matt Tremont. As the match got underway, out comes the notorious 187 homicide. And he says that his scheduled opponent didn't show up and decided he wanted in on this match and ended up a three-way match, which saw the notorious, oh, the notorious 187 Homicide defeat Schlack and Bulldozer Matt Tremont. Homicide was going to wrestle uh, Brody King, but um, I don't know, because he recently signed with Ring of Honor. I don't know if that's the reason why. 
why um, Brody King could not make the show because initially PCO, who also has signed with Ring of Honor, he was initially going to be on this event, and it didn't. He eventually pulled himself off. Okay. Ooh. Next up, we see what was. It was a first, I don't know if it really was a first time ever match because I can't remember. I thought it happened before at one time in a other promotion as uh, Teddy Hart defeated Dan Moff. And after the match, Teddy thanked the crowd for coming. Moff and basically, I forgot what Moff ended up saying, but they both took the microphone. Uh, next, we saw Karen Q defeat Alicia Edwards with the Boston Crab. Next up, uh, we saw Chris Dickinson defeat Sanchez. Uh, I forgot how Dickinson won the match, but he did get the victory. And then... Then it was main event time, as one last time, Amazing Red took on Danny DeMonto. At one point, DeMonto... Tomato threw red into the crowd. Uh, they were using chairs on each other. They brought boards into play. Eventually, at a, all of a sudden, Anthony Gangone, current House of Glory world champion, he hits the ring, attacks Danny. But then out come, also comes Matt Travis of House of Glory and another guy who I didn't recognize. And they bring more, bring in chairs and more boards into the ring. And Striker, I'm sorry. Eventually, out comes Bad Boy Joey Janela, crutches and all. He hits the ring and uh, disposes of Matt Travis and the other guy. I don't think he did anything to Gang Gong. He took one of his crotch, uh, crutches and hit Red in the crotch. Say so that three times quick, folks. And I know. Travis and the other guy had put a board on two tables. Danny climbed the top rope, did the frog splash on De on Red through the board to get the win. During the matchup, Red did a top rope stomp on the Danny laying on a board and a guardrail, and Danny had seemingly hurt himself, or so it seemed. After the match, Danny uh, comes in the ring and asks ICW founder Jack Sabbath to come in and share this moment because this was Danny's final match and the last time he faced Red one-on-one. -on -one. Now, to, to be totally honest with you, Danny, Red, and Jack was a surreal moment to me because I was it was reminiscent of Triple H, Shawn Michaels, and The Undertaker after that Hell in a Cell match at WrestleMania 28 in Miami, which was the end of an era. And it's pretty much, this night was the end of an era because Danny's final match no, no word if Red's going to be back in ICW. Ow. And then, uh... Oh, what else happened? But yeah, quite a... Quite a night of ICW action. Well, personal all time, it was great seeing Jack Sabbath, Kevin Williams, Stella, uh, Jeff, Mike McNicholas... Uh, Omar, Bill Parham, Jason Bob 87, uh, uh, kudos to that guy Joe who saw me come in, because uh, I was hoping to get to the building a little sooner, if I didn't fall asleep after coming home from work, I probably would have arrived a little sooner. Oh, my back is killing me. Who else did I notice in the crowd? Well, great time with, uh, that guy Richie, who was uh, we were waiting for the bus together, uh, as we're t you know leaving the place. Uh, Jack, I don't know if you thought about maybe getting a bigger place someday, because I don't know if you, if you get a crowd like that again, you may have to start turning people away. Uh, no word on when ICW will return, but obviously at some point in 2019. And uh, kudos to you, Jack, for going only canceling one show this year. Uh, Grim Reefer, that was a cool shirt you had on, man. I don't know if you sell those babies or not. 
show. Oh, great seeing uh, Benjamin from the General Admission Wrestling Podcast. I don't know if he, he and the other guys still do, do that podcast or not. Actually, it's three guys. Him, uh, Ray, and Mike. I forgot his last name. Yeah, that's what I got during the damn Moff and Teddy Hart match. Moff threw Teddy into the crowd. Ah, some horrible quotes. This ain't WWE. There's one little kid in the crowd during a match between Matt Stryker and Orange Cassidy. Step on his nuts. I don't know if it was the same kid, but that was also during Stryker and Cassidy. Great seeing uh, Larry Legend, Eric Cooper, Evan, uh, Irving Diaz from BCW. What else did I notice there and shit? Oh, definitely great night of ICW action, but uh, hey Jack, maybe uh, maybe we have some. Maybe start bringing some tag teams in the new year, man. I know you're high on tag team wrestling, especially since you had that first and only Impact Cup back in 2010. I don't know. I don't know when you came back this year if you're you're just trying to reestablish the brand to the fans and all. But I really enjoyed myself. I actually considered not going because with with work and it was, in fact it was raining, but I made it out there. And it was a, night, a great night of action. And uh, Jack, you have the great work, man. I sure hope uh, <clears throat> things uh, keep going well. And <clears throat> well, even though ICW, no word on when they'll be back in terms of the next show. Can we please have Homicide and Schlack one on one? Even though we got a little taste of it with a three-way with Matt Tremont. And it was kind of odd seeing Tremont come out to something besides Journey separate ways. Okay, so that'll do it. ICW. Can't wait to see you again in 2019.